Hi, I'm Tanya Lee, founder of Emperor Coaching. Um, my focus is to support leaders to remove barriers and limiting self-beliefs so that they can thrive um, within the perp pace through executive coaching and leadership development programs. I'm going to hand over to my fellow coaching colleague, Michael, to introduce himself. Hi, Tanya. Yes, nice to be joining you today. Uh, my name is Michael Short. I'm the founder and director of CultureWorks Consulting, and I also do executive and uh, executive team coaching, as well as um, uh, building uh, transformation and organisational design. Brilliant. Thanks. Um, Michael, I really wanted to talk to you today about the importance and benefits of chemistry and coaching. Um, and how you would describe chemi what chemistry actually is? Sure. Well, for me, there's always been two parts of, of a coaching relationship when it first starts. The first is credibility, and uh, then there's likability. Um, I'm not going to go into credibility because we're talking about chemistry. Um, suffice it to say that the company normally spends some time looking at that, um, and then the individual coachee, uh, during the chemistry test, which is what we're talking about today, um, also takes a view about whether they feel the individual is credible for their coaching. Likeability, I think, is the real chemistry test. And likeability is not about, um, it isn't whether you would go down to the pub with this other person or sit and have lots of dinners with them. But it is a sense of, I'm getting something from this individual. I find it very easy to let them coach me I find it easy for me to talk to them and allow them to provide and polish my lenses of coaching um, and I think finally it does play into the relationship with the company who is uh, providing the coachee with this resource um, and what I mean by that is um, they are trusting the coach to provide excellence in coaching they are not in the room they will not hear um, the, the results uh, of the conversations. They might get a general update around how it's going, both from the coach and the coachee. Um, so I've always felt that there needs to be a genuine level of trust. And I think that comes from chemistry and likability as much as it does um, from anything else. So that, that's where I feel chemistry tests are really important because you need to make sure that uh, you have likability and that's that's how that then fits into the whole process. If you don't have that, I think it's very difficult to move it forward. Yeah. So you, you talk about likability with the person you're going to coach. Um, and you touched on this earlier. Actually, the coaching is of, often commissioned by the company. So what's important with the company? Is that also chemistry? Um, because they're likely to be commissioning and paying for that. Yes. So I, I think that it, it's um, the, the particular chemistry that you talk about with clients is that they've, they've got to have a sense that they, they like you. And like comes from things such as they get a sense of trust. They get a sense of um, knowing that you're uh, a person who is delivering the best that you can for the coachee that you have. Um, and that's likability. The credibility piece is, is, again, as we say, is is down to, you know, do they believe in what you're giving in terms of uh, your background and your ability to coach this individual? Um, and have you done it before? What are your references like? How do you talk when you're actually uh, yourself in front of uh, both them as the commissioner and also their coachee uh, that they are entrusting to you? Right. So you need likability and credibility with, with the company um, and, and likability and credibility with the um, coachee as well. Is chemistry something that you can um, practice and learn or is it something that is instinctive? Um, I think it is authentic. And what I mean by that is, is it's something you must genuinely uh, project towards uh, the, as being yourself. This is me, this is I, this is what I do, and this is how I do it. Um, and you must remember that there are horses for courses and not, and that's why we have chemistry tests. Not every coach will be the right coach for every coachee. And that for me is the essence of, of what we talk about in a chemistry test and likability. 
Brilliant. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. So, you know, just in summary, to get a great coaching relationship, you need to have likability for both the coach, the company, um, but you also need to be credible, authentic, and have that mutual respect as well. Um, and without these in place, um, you might not feel comfortable to share your perceived weaknesses and challenges and then to enable you to get the most of your coaching um, and to reach those goals. So with those in mind, can you tell me about an example of when the, you've seen the benefits of great chemistry within a coaching relationship and what the outcomes were? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so th this is um, a really about a coachy um, that I had to address through her 360 degree feedback. And in doing that, um, it, it wasn't about the standard of work um, that she was producing, but how she interacted with those around her. And that, that was a negativity. Um, and um, what happened was that it, it was quite a, a difficult thing for her in bearing in mind her uh, personal personality, the way she carried herself. Mm -hmm. And um, because we had that level of likability, which includes trust and some of those elements as well. Um, but the likability, we were able to address, address this very early on because we did a 360 right at the beginning. And that, that issue of um, her ability to like the coach and her ability therefore to believe and trust what was being offered allowed me to help her look at this issue through a different lens and she looked at the negativity she sometimes put out to her team members and was able to take it on board as a constructive criticism rather than a negative why are you failing to do this so um, it was really important at this early stage that she felt that the chemistry was right and that the 360 degree feedback that she had and that particular issue we were able to tackle early and that was a massive improvement for her. The first coaching milestone that we achieved was to uh, ensure that she changed how she brought her team with her. That's great. Thanks for sharing that. Um, I think for me, um, it's just um, solidified the need for great chemistry in coaching to ensure that you get the best outcomes and how important it is to find the right coach for you. Um, so thank you for sharing. Pleasure. Thank you, Tanya. Cheerio, see you again soon. See you again soon.